Welcome to another quiz, and today the theme is space. So we're going to start off with the round one, some warm-up questions as always, and head straight into it. So the first question is, which flags are these countries connected to? It's got A, B, C, and D, and E. And the answer is, of course, A is Ecuador, B is French Guiana, C is Paraguay, D is Gambia, and E is Fiji. Moving on to question number two. Who are the authors of these books? We have um, Da Vinci Code, Moneyball, 100 Years of Solitude, The Age of Innocence, and The Alchemist. Give you a couple of seconds. So A is of course the Da Vinci Code. B, uh, sorry, A is uh, Dan Brown. Uh, B is Michael Lewis. C is Gabriel Garcia Marquez. A D is Edith Wharton. And E is Paul Coelho. And I don't really know how to pronounce that, but something like that. Um, moving on to question number three. Uh, which cities were these painters born? Yeah, it's supposed to say born there. It's a bore. Uh, and then we have A, uh, the first one, which is a little bit hidden there. And we got B, C, D, and E. Also, the D seems to be a bit hidden as well. Yeah. And we go for the answers. So we have A is uh, Picasso, who was born in Malaga. B is Rembrandt, who was born in Leiden. Or Leiden. C is Paul Cézanne, born in Aix en Provence. Uh, D is Klimt, who was born in Baumgarten. And E is Frida Kahlo, who was born in Mexico City. Great, now well, let's move on to the round two, the space themed round. And we're going to start off, what was the name of the module on Apollo 11 that landed on the moon? In 1969. Also, Brian, Bruce, no, who was it? Um, Brian Adams song. Anyway, so the answer is the Eagle. What was the name of the module? Moving on to question number five. What is the name of this astronaut? Or cosmonaut, should it be, actually? And the answer is Yuri Gagarin. And then we're moving on to question number six. What does NASA actually stand for? Famous agency. And the answer is it stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And then we got question number seven. What is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic electromagnetic radiation out of its magnetic poles? And the answer is, it's a pulsar. And then we're moving on to question eight. Which electromagnetic radiation has the highest photon energy? And the answers, answer is gamma rays. So moving on to round three, the Music Rebus round. And as always, we have we can put in the different images to become uh, the name of a band or an artist. So in this case, it's then Ali G, which together with CIA and Keys become Ali Shia Keys. So that's kind of how the, this game works. Um, so start off with this one. Which band is this?
And the answer is Slipknot, of course. So we have a slip dress of some sort. I don't know exactly what that is, but I think that is a dress. And not. A not. And then we have question 10. Which singer hides behind here? And it's, of course, the famous Alice Cooper. And finally, which artist hides behind here? And of course, it's Taylor Swift. So Taylor Notner and then Swift, which is a coding language. Cool, let's move on from to round four, from one to the other. So here's where we start on one image and then through some little back and forth, we come to the next one. And we start though with Titicaca Lake is placed between which countries? Mm. And the answer is then are Bolivia and Peru is the two countries which is placed between. And the center of the mighty Inca Empire, Empire from 1438 until the Spaniard Francisco Pizarro arrived in South America in 1532. Peru declares its independence on July 28, 1821, thanks to José de San Martín's Argentine army and Simón Bolívar's Venezuelan army. Simón Bolívar was named Liberator of America and was born in Caracas. Caracas is in Venezuela. But what's the name of the famous leader uh, that was in Venezuela? So what is the name of this famous leader from Venezuela? Hmm? And the answer is then Hugo Chavez. And he was president from 1999. Uh, until his death in 2013, except for a brief period of 47 hours in 2002. 47 is the 15th prime number, uh, it's a safe prime and it's also a Lucas number. Another famous Lucas is Lucas Dimitrios Papademos, who is a Greek economist and academic who serves as the 12th prime minister of Greece. But who is the current prime minister of Greece? A famous food in Greece. Uh, oh, yeah, the answer is, of course, Kyriakos Mitsotakis. Probably butchered that name. Um, so, a famous food in Greece is the pastizio, which is a Greek lasagna. And lasagna is a famous dish in Italy. Um, and the three. The Tyrrhenian Sea is an arm of the Mediterranean Sea between the western coast of Italy and the islands of Corsica, Sardinia and Sicily. Corsica is an island in the Mediterranean Sea and one of the regions of which country? So, Corsica is a region of which country? And the answer is, of course, France. So moving on to round five, which year? So we're going to take images from a specific year, and you have to guess which year it is. So, which year did these famous events take place? Uh, so the first image is actually wrong. There's an apple computer there that's not supposed to be there but uh, it's movie M is released that's the right one Re ignore the image there and uh, then you have the strike in Ådal in Sweden and then you have that New Delhi because the capital of India so which year did these things happen I really fucked up on that image 
And the answer is 1931. And then we got round six, the random round. Uh, and we have here, first with the idiot question, so what is missing in this Star Wars quote? Mm-hmm, <laughs> I am your father. What does he say? And the answer is no. He says, no, I am your father. It is not Luke, I am your father, which maybe many people think. Next, move on to the IMDb round, where there's a specific film that he's talking about. And this is a person who's given it a one-star review, and we have to figure out which movie it is. I was literally praying to be struck dead so I didn't see one more second of this film. film. Even she couldn't save this overhyped trash. I could feel my IQ drop each minute of the movie that went by. I was amazed, shocked and in horror to see that there were actual people in IMDb nonetheless who thought this film was gasp good. Not even close. Waste of my time and a waste of my life which I can never get back. I'll admit I did laugh at one point, however, I'm not sure if this was due to my sanity slowly sl slipping away or my brain cells seeping from my eardrums. If you hate your life and just want to waste what precious time you have on earth, this is the movie for you. Mm, so which movie is he talking about? Or she? And the answer is Barbie. And we're moving on to solve the anagram. So which famous leader hides behind here? And it's African leader. Religious leader. And the answer is then of course Desmond Tutu. So moving on to the general knowledge round. And in this case, uh, we have a couple of presidents, and you have to put them in the right order. We have James Monroe, Martin Van Buren, John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, and John Tyler. What is the correct order? So the answer is then, of course, so first came John, James Monroe, then came John Quincy Adams, then came Andrew Jackson, then came Martin Van Buren, and then came John Tyler. So, question 21. Name these instruments. So we have A, and then we have B, uh, which uh, letter B has disappeared. Um, and then we got C, D, and E. So, name the instruments. So we got, the first one is charango, then we got an ikencho, then we have a pandeiro, then we have chocalo, and finally a bandolin. And then we got the last question, and who invented these inventions? Pretty straightforward question. And to help, so A is a phone, B is an ironing board, C is a cotton gin, D is a telegraph, and E is an ultraviolet camera. So who invented these? So uh, the phone was invented by Antonio Mucci. Uh, the ironing board was invented by Sarah Boone. The cotton gin was, it was invented by Eli Whitney. Telegraph was uh, invented by Samuel F. B. Morse. And ultraviolet camera was invented by George Carruthers. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for this quiz, and hope to see you next time.